folks this is Hulk Ricks I'm just gonna do a uh, tutorial eh, with just the basic equipment I got right here uh, it's nothing fancy I'm don't I need a better tripod for my uh, big camera which I don't have so I'm just using my small tri tripod in my phone uh, what we did here is I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what I did was uh, after I cleaned up all my miniatures, I gave him a uh, quick uh, coating of primer of some dark green from Model Masters that I could do. This covered everything. And then I went over after that dried, the primer did. Then I want some Castellan Green from GW. Castellan Green. And then now, after that's dried, I've already done that step already and I'm going to go over everything with a base coat of the Tholian uh, camo shade over everything that will fill in all the cracks because there's places that you know you don't get everything into um, all the different nooks and crannies that when you're putting the paint base paint on the uh, castle in green so I always like to put a little bit of camo shade on it in this case, which is appropriate for the, uh, the color that we got here. And I'm just going to go over some of these vehicles here. Let's get it into all the crooks, crevices, and everything. Just kind of paint it on there. Get it in there nice and neat. Sloppy. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go over with it with a layer brushing anyway here in a little bit after this dries but the whole thing is is just getting this in everywhere so it's nothing really fancy just getting the job done because after you get this layer so you have this layer on there i'm going to go over it again with the uh, um the base coat that i put on there and that will bring out all of the uh, nooks and crannies. This is kind of a sloppy mess because otherwise, like when you're doing this with a uh, standard, let's say I'm working on a 40k miniature, I got a base that I can uh, hold on to. This I do not have the base. All right, bloody thing shut on me, but I don't have a base that works really good to hold on. Unless I mount them on those uh, plastic bases, hex bases. And I don't like doing that until after the miniature is basically painted. So, you know, this is the exciting part. Ooh, you're watching, sitting there, ooh, we're going to watch paint dry. But uh, after this dries, then, like I said, I'll go over it with the... Uh, um, Castle in green with a basic brush and uh, bring it back to its original color, but all the nooks and crannies are going to be still dark. And then I'm going to mix some different kind of paints together here, which I'll show you in a second here. Bring those out to you. Which is, I'll mix the uh, Castle in green with a little bit of uh, P3. This is the uh, Battle Dress Green. What that does is it drops the uh, color just a little bit down into the uh, more of a camo brown color. But you still got the darker green. So that's kind of like a light shade over it. Which it's kind of like it's going to not be a, it's more like a wet brush, what I'm going to do over top of everything. So you still have some of the base green, but the uh, raised areas will be uh, uh, brought to life with a little bit more color gradient. And what I'm doing here is, I, as you've seen in some of my pictures, you've seen that I have, uh, um, you'll notice that there's multiple colors of green. So when you paint something, you know, you have to uh, bring out the highlights some way or another. And then when you're colored, basically it's one color. 
you have to figure out a way. Come on, gosh, I hate these things. They keep closing up on me. And you know, there's you know, some people are like, well, why are you doing it directly from the pot? Ah, heck with it. I like to get it on there, slather it on, get it in there, and change that color. Now, one thing I like to do is like when I'm painting. All my paints already been thinned. You know, they say, thin your paints. Well, I already do it. I just go in and thin it right in the pot because I hate, like when you look at the GW paints, they are so thick. It's like mud practically. So I go right through and I um, thin them right in the pot. You don't have to worry too much. There's not a lot of thinning you have to do with the P3. I love the P3 paints because they're already seem like they're thin to begin with but the uh, they just still need a little bit not much and uh, compared to the GW but yeah uh, it's just a little bit more and there's I got some palettes around here too I can paint through from a palette if I want to because I'm a watercolor art artist also so I got all that stuff that's how I got into everything when I was painting is that you know took classes in high school and then I was a graph when I first got in the army I was a uh, graphics illustrator um, I don't know if you remember the first Gulf War when we were seeing uh, like Schwarzkopf out there and he was in front of uh, um, some boards they had all the disposition of things going on. Well, that was what I did when I first got in the Army. And then I changed and uh, got into, uh, went to officer candidate school. And, and the next thing you know, I uh, became an armor officer and you know, left my stuff behind. But, you know, I ended up, I got a, uh, a minor in art. It was one of my six degrees I got. That's the thing you notice in life. If you spend any time in college, you end up collecting degrees. It's like, geez, thank you. Oh, another one? Oh, wow, thanks. So I got primary when I went to school. I was a geologist, so. But I didn't get much use of that. Actually, I'm using my art degree more nowadays. But anyway, that's going to take care of... Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a lot of pooling going on here. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go through and uh, take care of these other ones. And I'll be back when all this is dry and I'll go on to the next step.